Now, this year, the Venice Film Festival gave their Lifetime Achievement Award not to a person, but to an entire studio. Come on, boys! Plus, of course, Pixar, who now released their 10th animation up in 3D if you're in the right cinema. The perfect studio with the perfect 3D film. Is that true? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, Pixar have... You know, not really put a foot wrong in their entire history, have they? There are ten films in, but Up's as good as anything they've ever done, frankly. There are, there are scenes at the start of Up that are arguably the most emotionally rich moments in animation history. I mean, they've really hit it out of the park. Please let me in. And I think that their films are now of a calibre that I don't understand why they're not getting nominated in kind of best picture categories and stuff. And never mind best animation, because they're really doing some ambitious work. Mm, and they've said now, they've announced that all of the films they're going to be making um, from now on are going to be in 3D. And we've got um, Toy Story 3 coming out soon, which is going to be a really, really big event. Yeah, I mean, we, we were lucky that we went to a Disney presentation mm. recently and they showed a scene from Toy Story 3 in 3D. It was still all about a story, all about a character. Characters. Not too shabby, huh? Look at this! We're just saying that, that um, Pixar have made a threequel. I mean, this was the fresh, brand new, every time studio. Mm -hmm. Now they're re releasing Toy Story 1 and 2 in 3D. It feels like they're just getting a bit commercial. Oh, Cars, you know, right. Cars, well. Cars 2 as well. Cars 2, I mean, yeah. And arguably, yeah, well, you're right, what's Pixar doing re releasing well, I, I, when I, you I'm can not, make up and when you can make Yeah, one? I'm not sure we should be that surprised because if you, if you remember, I mean, John Lasseter, who runs Pixar and Disney, he is a Walt Disney fan through and through. The rules that Walt Disney set up are the rules of Pixar. And, and Pixar, like Disney, are trying to establish a range of popular characters. So I, I don't think there's anything that goes against that ethos to say, once you have your Mickey and Donald, your Woody and Buzz, that they're going to keep coming back in adventures. Yeah, but the point isn't that you go to the cinema and if everyone's going to re-release kind of whole series, for example, Lord of the Rings, I mm. guarantee they'll knock them out in 3D. Mm. My worry is exactly that, but it will stop new filmmakers, new talent coming through because all the screen space has been eaten up by these re-releases. So is there maybe an argument that 3D is a bad thing? Because of that well, 3D <laughs> is not a good thing for cinema, maybe. I suppose what it boils down <laughs> to is if someone announced that one of your favourite films from 10 years ago was getting a new cinematic print and it was pristine and it was beautiful and it had an extra dimension, I think you would go and see it. With Pixar, it's different because they create that world in their computers and it's all 3D anyway. But I do worry about if you're just going to go back to films willy-nilly and just go, oh, you know, this film from 1982 or something like Back to the Future, 1985, let's do that in yeah, 3D. Yeah. To try and be positive, though, I mean, Avatar is a new thing. Um, <laughs> right. Up is a new thing. They're both yeah. in 3D. Yeah. It does create a platform for new ways of doing things creatively. So, you know, I wouldn't say it's the death knell of cinema, but, I, yeah, I think we do have to be slightly wary of where we're going to go with this 3D technology. And interestingly, I think here that Pixar have on their slate their first live action. Is yeah, it? that's um, John Carter of Mars, which um, Andrew Stanton is going to be directing. And he's the guy who did find, Finding Nemo and he did Wally. But I think it's kind of an interesting question to see whether... I mean, the directing styles for doing animation and for live action pictures are completely different. I wonder whether he will be able to translate that brilliance. Well, what Pixar do, one of their disciplines, they'll make kind of a, a very cheap sort of linear black and white version of the right. entire film. And then they'll play the entire film and they'll sort of go, gets a bit weak after 20 minutes, not quite funny enough here, there's not enough emotion. And I suspect John Carter of Mars will be similar with that discipline. They won't go into production until they know they've already got a compelling property. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you'll be able to necessarily get a great that's, performance out of an true. actor. That, <laughs> that's a very fair point. Well, thank you, Pixar, and thank you guys for being so animated as well. That's it from Total Film Talk. Until next time, goodbye.